Hey everybody, welcome to a quick Avid tutorial. And this is something that was requested by a subscriber is just how to import and export user profiles. So I already have a video on customizing your user profile and some of the settings and stuff you can change in there, particularly keyboard shortcuts or something a lot of people like to customize. But after you've done that, you may not be sure, okay, how do I get these user settings onto another Avid system if I'm switching computers or I'm working in a lab or maybe you're freelance using different systems day to day and you wanna just bring your user settings with you. So I'm just gonna go through that really quickly. It's very straightforward. I'm gonna bring up my settings, command comma on a Mac, and you have your format, project, user, site tabs on the top here as always. I'm gonna to go to the user tab and here's where you can see my user profile and see what user settings you're currently using. By the way, if you wanted to change to a different set of user settings, this is where you would go here. So I have a different set called mKarens and I can switch to that one. And you'll see some of my view stuff changed by default when I did that. So let me go back to my current user settings. Okay, and let's say these are the ones that I would like to move to another computer. Well, it's very simple. I just have to go to export user or user profile. And you'll see we have a few different options here. I'll be honest, I'm not a super expert on these types. And these first two have to do with if you're working in a network environment with shared user profiles where it might be stored on a server and accessed from multiple places. I'm personally not experienced enough in that type of environment to feel comfortable giving you good advice there. So I'll say you could read these descriptions to see what you think they do. But if you're in a shared environment, I might talk with somebody who has experience working with user profiles in a shared network environment. I always am just working off of local computers. And if I need to move my settings to another computer, I just throw them on a flash drive or email them to myself or whatever and transfer them that way. So I'm just going to use a local user profile, not shared across environment, just the standard one there. The other thing you need to do is set where this is going to be exported to. And I'll just throw mine on my desktop. Okay, and that has been exported. And you'll notice up here, nothing has changed. I still have those same options I did, but if I open up the Finder window and go to my desktop, you can see here's this folder it's created. And inside there's just two files. There's this XML file with my settings and then the AV file with the rest of my user profile. So that's how I got that exported. I could throw that onto a flash drive or something if I wanna move it to another computer. And then to demo what I would do in that case, all I'm gonna to need to do is just import that back in. In this case, I already have a user profile with the same name here. I don't wanna overwrite that. So I'm just going to update this quick. We'll call this 0.9 and I'll update all the names so that they all match. And then I can go back in here, still in my Avid settings on the user tab. I'll go to import user, user profile. It's gonna ask me where to bring it in from. I'll find that folder to open. It's going to bring that in. And you'll see now I have this additional user profile with all my settings and everything customized just to show you like the keyboard because that's what people often are curious about. Transferring, you can see this has all my personal keyboard shortcuts here. You can see it also has my personal export settings and my personal workspace views. And that's all there is to it. It's really that simple. If for some reason you don't wanna go through that export option, you can do this reveal user profile and it'll show you where your user profile is. So here's the one we're using. And you can see it's got a couple of additional things on here, but here's those settings in .ave file. And you could just copy that folder and manually bring that over somewhere if you don't want to export it separately first. And that will work as well. That's sometimes what I do. By the way, if you're curious, here's where your user profiles are stored on a Mac at least. Here's my main drive, users, shared, Avid Media Composer, Avid users. And then this is my login ID. And then they're all stored inside that. So hope that was helpful. And again, if you wanna know how to customize keyboard shortcuts or any other user settings, there's a separate video on that. I'll link over here at the left. But once your user profile has been customized, this would be how you get it in and out of Avid. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.